how's it going, Nitrocytes? It is your boy, the Nitro General here, and welcome back to another video. Now, as we all know, the Pokemon Sword and Shield first um, DLC, the Isle of Armor, came out last week. And if you guys want to see my video and me talking about my thoughts and um, everything like that on that um, DLC, go watch the one of go watch the video I uploaded a few days ago. Um, it would have been on Tuesday. No, Wednesday. It would, yeah, it was it was the day that it came out, I believe. I believe it was Wednesday night. I, I don't really remember. I don't, yeah, I think it was Wednesday night. Um, so go check that out if you want to know. Um, but the whole reason why we're not jumping right into the video right here is because we're going to be talking about the Crown Tundra today. Now, we don't know too much about the Crown Tundra except for the fact that the Crown Tundra has been completely data mined, which means that we now know every returning Pokemon that is going to be in the game. Now, I'm not saying we couldn't get any other Pokemon. Um, we could, but it's highly doubtful that we're going to get any other old Pokemon um, returning other than the ones that I'm going to be talking about in today's video. So... Um, yeah, I want to give everybody a chance to click off now if you don't want to see any spoilers because there's going to be spoilers in this video. And that's all I really, really wanted to say. We're going to jump right into the video here in a second. I just wanted to basically go full face cam here just to kind of say, um, there's not going to be a face cam in this video because, just because I don't want to obstruct the picture of the returning Pokemon. So I kind of just wanted to add an intro here, um, and just say if you don't want any spoilers to click off now, but, um, we're, we're just, in a second, we're gonna jump right into the, into the main video, um, but yeah, so all the Pokemon I'm gonna be talking about are returning 100% guaranteed, no doubt, guaranteed to be in the Crown Tundra. Now, they're probably not gonna be any more, um, but there is a chance. I'm not gonna say there isn't gonna be any more, but there probably isn't, um, unless they add more, um, in later DLCs. Or if they just decide to add the rest of the Pokemon in after. But yeah. So if you guys are excited for this, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. All that kind of good stuff. Because I'm going to be bringing you guys as much videos and updates and stuff as I can. As we approach the Crown Tundra. Which is the next milestone for Pokemon Sword and Shield. And as of right now, that's not going to be released till November. Which is like five months. So we still got a while. But we'll see. So let's get right into the video, and I hope you guys enjoy. So we are back, and um, there's no face cam here in order not to not obstruct the um, Pokemon here. But we're just going to talk about all the returning Pokemon. These are all of the returning Pokemon. Now, obviously, there may be other ones, but chances are there is not going to be other ones. So there probably is not going to be any other old returning Pokemon unless they add it after the Crown Tundra. These are 95% sure i'm 95 percent sure that these are the only returning pokemon um from the crown tundra now i'm gonna uh, mention all of them but i'm not gonna be talking too much about them because i don't want to make the video too long um if you want to know my opinions on all the pokemon you can go check out my pokemon tier list series that i have you can go check out the playlist it's in the playlist so yeah let's go so, obviously, <clears throat> we already knew about Nido King and Nido Queen. Um, definitely think they're really, really cool Pokemon, and I'm really excited that they're going to be in the game. Um, Zubat and Crobat uh, and Golbat are going to be in the game, too, which I was really surprised that they didn't come in regular Sword and Shield because they are one of the only Pokemon that have been in every main series game. Um, I guess sec technically they're still going to be in every main series game because of... <clears throat> of the crown tundra but they weren't originally in just the regular sword and shield so um yeah so it's it's kind of weird to think that you know to go in a cave and not encounter a zubat or a golbat because you do in every generation but i guess that is obviously going to be back in the crown tundra yeah so yeah and then the next one here is smoochum and jinx and i personally cannot stand jinx um and i'm a little disappointed that it took the spot of other good um, Pokemon that could be in the game. I don't can't really think of one right off the top of my head, but um, I'm a little disappointed that it's it's in the game. But I can see why it is because Gen One Ice type, perfect for the Crown Tundra, which is ice themed. So, and then strangely enough, since it is ice themed, we have Magby, Magmar, and Magmortar, and I guess that's contradictory to the Crown Tundra ice. 
thing, but never, you never know. Maybe, maybe you won't be able to catch him in the crowd. You, you're going to have to be able to catch him in the crowd. Don't you? I don't know how that's going to work, but we'll see. But um, Ella Kid, um, Electabuzz, and Electivire are coming too, which is kind of cool. I love Electivire and Magmortar. I think they're both really, really awesome Pokemon. They were some of my favorites as a kid. So I'm really, I think it's really cool that they're coming back. And then we are getting some fossils. They're not the only fossils on this list, but surprisingly enough... Um, we are getting some fossils back. I don't know how they're going to work. Um, I know, like, we saw Aurora and Aurorus. I don't know how to pronounce that one correctly because I am terrible at pronouncing some Pokemon. But uh, I think it's Aurora. Or, 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 I don't even know how to pronounce it. I'm not even going to try. But so we, we've seen that one walking around. So does that mean that there's going to be some fossil Pokemon that never went extinct in the Crown Tundra? So... They're just going to be actually walking around like you would be in present day? Or are you going to be able to, like, revive fossils that you find? Or both, maybe? I don't know. We'll just have to see. So, obviously, we have Omanyte and Amistar. And then we have Kabuto and Kabutops. I love Kabutops. It's one of my favorite uh, fossil Pokemon. So, I'm pretty excited to see that coming back. And then, obviously, we're getting Aerodactyl 2, which rounds out the Gen 1 fossil Pokemon. Um, I definitely think it would be really, really cool to see Aerodactyls flying around in the sky that you can whistle to and catch, but it's really, really cool. And obviously, we're getting the Legendary Birds, Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. We're getting the Galarian forms, too, which is really, really, really cool. And um, so, obviously, you're going to be getting the Kentonian forms as well. Um, so, any Pokemon's getting Galarian forms. So, any of these Pokemon could be getting Galarian forms. We don't totally know. Um, until they either reveal it or the game comes out, um, because you're going to be getting the normal form, whether if they get a Galarian form or not, so, but, yeah. and then we have Drag, Dratini, Dragonair, and Dragonite, which I had a feeling were coming back in the DLC, I don't know if they've showed it or not, they might have, and that's why I think it is, um, but, I thought they were, and, um, I'm really excited to see them, which means that, Every one, of, any, every one of the pseudo-legendaries is coming back to the game, which is pretty cool, too. So, yeah. And then, obviously, you have the rest of the Gen 2 evolutions. And then you have some more legendary Pokemon. Raikou, Entei, Suicune, um, Lugia, and Ho-Oh. And that is pretty cool, too, because I didn't think you're going to be... I didn't think we'd get the legendary... Or, I think they showed off the legendary dogs, but I'm not 100%. But uh, I think that's really, really cool that they're coming back. Um, along with Trico, Grovile, and Sceptile... Torchic, uh, why can't I think of your name right now? Oh my, Combuskin, and finally my favorite Pokemon of all time. I cannot be more happy that this Pokemon is coming back. They didn't bring back any other starter Pokemon except for Generation 2, and I could not be even more happier because he plays against my favorite Pokemon of all time. And I'm so happy that he's in the game. And then we have Mudkip, Marshtomp, and Swampert. Now, I think that's pretty cool, um, too, because you're going to be getting even more starters. They are the last of the starters, so we are... I thought we were going to be getting every one of the starters, but I guess we aren't. We are only getting the Gen 1 starters, the Gen 2 starters, the Gen 6 starters, and the Gen 7 starters, I believe. No, Gen 7 and Gen 8 starters. We didn't get Gen 6. Um, but, so, yeah, because that was a little, that was a little sad, but hopefully, maybe later on, they will add in more starters. So then we have Aeron, Laron, and Agron, other Pokemon that I think are super, super cool, um, that are coming back in the game. And then we also have Swablu and Altaria, which are more really, really cool Crown Tundra Pokemon. I think it'd be really cool to see the Altaria and Swablus flying around. Um, definitely fits in with, like, the blue kind of theme with, like, the snow and the icicles and stuff like that. I think they would fit in perfectly there. And then we have more fossil Pokemon in Cradilly and, uh, Lilip, and then Anorith and, uh, Armaldo, which is pretty dope. And then we have another one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, and that is Absol. I actually thought Absol was coming back in the Isle of Armor, but it obviously it didn't. And I am, I was a little sad because of that, but, um... I guess I can wait to have it on my team, but I am really, really excited to bring my shiny Absol into Sword and Shield. Uh, but yeah. So then we have Sveal, uh, Celio, and Whalern, and I think that's pretty cool too. I definitely think they're they're like the perfect Pokemon for the Crown Tundra for like the water and stuff. I definitely think it would be, it'd be, it's going to be really cool to see like a Whalern and a Celio and even a Sveal, um, just in the in the wild, like a Celio 
popping up out of the water I think would be really really cool and then we have Relicanth too which I think is pretty cool to have that back in the game and then we have Bagon, Sheldon uh, and uh, Salamance plus Beldum, Matang and Metagross and that is really 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 awesome to see them coming back too because um, that rounds off the, all the pseudo legendaries plus Salamance and Metagross were on have been on my team since you know, am I going to be enough Sapphire, my shiny ones that I've had, and I am really excited to be bringing them back since they have been on my squad for am I going to be a Sapphire, Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Moon, and then they did not make it into a Let's Go, obviously, so I'm really excited to see them coming back. And then we have the Reggies, uh, along with Regigigas, too, as we can see farther down on the line. And that is really cool to see them bringing that back. A lot of people were thinking Regigigas was not going to be coming back, but obviously you can't have the Regis without having Regigigas. That just doesn't work. I think it's illogical that people were thinking that. And then you have Latios and Latias, um, which were stranger legendaries for them to bring back um, when you could have other ones, but at the same time, I think they're pretty cool. So I am glad they're going to be bringing back. Actually, I have a, a theory on why they brought them back um, that I will be talking about here in a few minutes. And then, obviously, you have the other Gen 2 legendaries in, um, K K not Kirim, Jesus, uh, Groudon, Kyogre, and Rayquaza, which is super awesome. I'm really, really excited to see Rayquaza come back. Um, definitely really awesome Pokemon to be able to see in HD that I'm really excited for. And then Spirit Tomb, which is uh, a different one for them to bring back, too, but I guess that's pretty cool. Um, I've never really used the Spirit Tomb, but I think that's pretty cool. And then, obviously, you have the last pseudo-legendary here, and that is Gibble, Gavite, and Garchomp, which is pretty cool to have back in the game. And then, you obviously, you've got the Generation 4 Legends in Uxie, Mesper, and Azelf, plus Dagon, Palkia, and Heatran, um, and Giratina, Cresselia, um, and then Regigigas 2. Those are all the Generation 4 Legendaries. Those are going to be coming back, and that's awesome because Palkia is my favorite Legendary of all time. So I am really excited to see them coming back too. Um, definitely excited to see them in HD. And then you have Victini, which is pretty cool. I thought Victini was already in the game, which is strange. Because I was like, why can't I import this Victini? And then I I don't know if they've showed it off already or, or what, but I thought it was. And but it's coming in the Crown Tundra. And then, strangely enough, we have Audino. And that is a really weird Pokemon for them to bring back. There's a lot of other Pokemon that they could have brought. Um, and they didn't, like a Mightyena or something. And so that's a little weird that they don't, that they have Audino. Uh, but I guess it's cool. <laughs> but, and then obviously you have the other fossils, as in Tor Tortuga, Caracosta, Arch, and Archaeops. Um, Archaeops is my favorite fossil Pokemon, um, so that's pretty cool to see them coming back, along with Cryognol, which is a really good Pokemon for the Crown Tundra, I believe, too. And then you have the Genies, um, uh, which rounds off, they round off all the rest of the other Generation 5, uh, Legendary Mythical Pokemon, because we already have Kyurem, Keldeo, Virizion, Terrakion, uh, Cobalion, Zekrom, Reshiram, and yeah, obviously Kiram. So we already have all those in the game, but now we have Tornadus, Thunderous, Landorus, um, and Genesect, plus Victini. So that's pretty cool that they're going to be in the game. Um, I, I think we already we already knew that uh, Genesect was coming back because we saw the data for Technoblast, which is his exclusive move. And then we have the Generation 6 um, Fossil Pokemon, there's in Tyrant um, and Tyrantrum plus Aurora and Aurora and Auroras, however you pronounce that. Um, plus Carbink, which those are the only, uh, those five Pokemon are the only ones from Gen 5 besides the three legend, or three, four, six legendaries, um, five legendaries, I should say, uh, that are coming back to the game, which is weird because I really wish that they would have gave more love to that generation. But obviously they didn't, so we're only getting those ones. Carbink is a weird Pokemon that they're bringing back. But again, I can kind of see why it's going to be in the Crown Tundra. And then obviously we have Xerneas, y Yaveltal, um, Yaveltal. And then uh, we have Zygarde uh, and Diancie and Volcanion. Uh, I, I think it's weird that Volcanion's coming back, but Hoopa's not coming back. Um, so I... That's why I think maybe they'll add Hoopa. I don't know if they didn't see that on the list or something. But it is weird that 
any other um, generation that they bring legendaries back for, they brought the mythicals too. Um, and they did not bring Hoopa, which is really weird to me. And I love Hoopa, so I'd be sad that if he didn't get put in the game. But if he doesn't, I guess it's not the biggest deal. And then, obviously, there's no other regular Pokemon of Gen 7. And that's kind of weird to me um, that they're not giving any more of those back. But then, we, obviously, you have all the legendaries from that region. Tapu Koko, Tapu Lele, Tapu Bulu, Tapu Fini. And then... And this is really, really cool to me. I think this is really cool. Strangely enough, the Ultra Beasts are coming back. I was fairly certain that we would never see the Ultra Beasts ever again. But, um, so I'm really excited to see how that plays into the Crown Tundra. Is if, I don't know, if maybe they'll be in the Rage just like the rest of the Legendaries. Or if, because they're technically... They're technically, I guess, Pokedex registers them as legendaries, but they're in like a sub, like a subcategory of legendary. So I wonder if it'll play into like the story, because obviously the Crown Tundra is in four chapters. So maybe there'll be like an Ultra Wormhole kind of thing, which would be, I think, would be really cool. We already have Lunala and Solgaleo, so maybe there'll be like a whole kind of Ultra Wormhole kind of thing going on. But we'll have to see. So yeah, and so obviously in the Helgo. Okay, this is gonna be a challenge. Seeing if I can remember all of these, I should remember all their names, but. You have Nihelgo, Buzzwool, Fermosa, Exertry, uh, Celesteela, and K Kartana, Guzzlord, Poipol, Naganon, Del St Stakataka, and Blacephalon. So, I can't believe I remembered all those because I really struggled. I always struggled with the Ultra Beast names. But yeah, so those are all of the le all of the Pokemon that are returning in the Crown Tundra that have been confirmed. Actually, th like I said before, I don't think we're going to be getting any other ones. So I believe these are the only old Pokemon that are coming back. So there's definitely some awesome Pokemon that are coming back in this one. Definitely more hyped for these returning Pokemon than the ones in the Isle of Armor. But yeah, so we're going to be waiting until like November or whatever for them to come back but I think it's totally worth it now I do have a theory of why there are some Pokemon that are going to be bring back and I believe that they're going to add the addition of Mega Evolutions into the Crown Tundra now people might be like no I don't really think so because of the Gigantamax and everything well the data for the Mega Stones are in the game they are in the game you can get the Mega Stones if you hack now obviously people are like well um, in every past game they have added the data for every item even if you can't get it and that is true except for the fact that why would they add in random pokemon like audino or absol or anything like that because they can mega evolve and if you look with this list every pokemon that can mega evolve has made it into sword and shield every single one that can mega evolve has made it into sword and shield with the addition of this dlc oops sorry guys like you have uh, why can't I think of his name right? Uh, oh my God, the fossil bird, the fossil dinosaur bird thing. The oh my God, I can't think of it. Um, and then obviously, you know, Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl can mega evolve. And then you have the Gen three or the Gen two starters or yeah, Gen three starters. Sorry, not Gen two. I messed up that earlier in the video. Obviously, Gen 3 starters can Mega Evolve, which is why I think it's really random that the Gen 3 starters made it in. I mean, I couldn't be happier, but why would they only add the Gen 3 starters? Because they can Mega Evolve. And then Agron and Altaria can Mega Evolve. Absol, uh, Salamence, Metagross, Latios, and Latias. Um, oh, da, 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 da. I am blanking on Pokemon names today, even after I already said them. Rayquaza, uh, Garchomp. Um, Audino, yeah, and then those are, and then Diancy, those are all Pokemon that can Mega Evolve, and they're just random Pokemon for them to add in, yet they did, so I believe that Mega Evolution is coming back, but I guess we won't know for sure, it may just be random chance, maybe they're adding them in to kind of screw with us, or maybe they won't be in the Crown Tundra, maybe they'll be later in the game, and maybe Nintendo will be like, oh, we're gonna do a whole nother DLC after that, or they'll be like, um, we'll add them in to a certain later or whatever. So, yeah. But these are all the returning Pokemon. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on it and subscribe for a lot of new content. I will be bringing you a lot of new content here in the near future. If you guys like Pokemon Showdown, I do a lot of videos on that. So, like, you can go check out the playlist for that. You can also check out, um, my thoughts on the, 
uh, Isle of Armor that I posted a few days ago. If you guys want to go see that, that I posted that if, it's one of the last videos up on the channel. Um, so go check out that. Leave a like on there too. Um, slap, slap a subscribe on this channel. That was re a really weird sentence that I just said. Slap a subscribe on this channel. Subscribe if you guys like the content and hit that bell too so you don't miss a video when I post it. But other than that, guys, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed. And like I say at the end of every video, um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Nature General out. Peace.